So if you've been riding a mountain bike, a regular bicycle, or an electric bike, scooter of some sorts, I'm sure you've been in the market of wanting to buy a bell. So I actually have this thing called the Hornet, which um, it's bloody loud, but problem is the Hornet, when I have it installed on my e-scooter or, or on my bicycle, no one seems to respond to the sound. I'm not sure whether it's because um, people aren't exactly used to the sound or they just think it's a bird. Anyway, so what comes to mind is actually this bell that I've been thinking about for a very long time. Um, it's, uh, I'm sure it's, it's like a little knock hammer. So there are actually two companies that's doing it right now. One is called Rock Brothers. And of course the original one. Wait, I have a box right here. It's actually... It's all metal, precision crafted and made in the USA and it's called Spur Cycle. So the original is Spur Cycle and the knockoff, the cheap knockoff is actually called Rock Brothers. And <clears throat> I bought the Rock Brothers for about $20 in Singapore and I actually think that pedestrians respond a lot better to the Rock Brothers um, versus the Hornet. So I decided to remove the Hornet. And then what really got me thinking was, is the Spur Cycle better? Because it's made in the USA. You know, it's, um, I mean, if you see the videos, everything is just all precision handcrafted. And from what I understand, so from some of the videos I've seen on YouTube, the resonance is a lot better. So again, the Rock Brothers is about 20 odd dollars. In fact, it can be had for maybe 12 US dollars on AliExpress. But if you're like me, and you keep thinking to yourself, is the Spur Cycle better? Is the Spur Cycle better? But it also costs about $69 in Singapore so the price difference you're talking about at least three times more expensive and it's just about it looks almost the same so this is a test to see which one is actually better this is a warning for everyone out there if you already have the Rock Brothers and you don't want to buy another belt then just stop watching but for those who's really really keen to find out which of the two is better then this is the ultimate test to see exactly which one has the better sound, has the better build quality, and hopefully at the end of the video, you can make that decision for yourself. Right now I'm unboxing the Spur Cycle. So this is the original product. I actually have the knockoff, which is the Rock Brothers. So as you can see over here, the difference is that it's got the brand Spur Cycle etched into this. Hmm. It's pretty solid. I think it's safe to say that at this point in time now, if you're wondering whether or not to take the plunge and actually spend $69. Okay, obviously I can't use the small, I need to use the big one. So, as I was saying, it's pretty safe to say that at this point in time, if you're wondering, I can confidently say that it's definitely has a much better build quality um, as compared as compared with the Rock Brothers on the left. I will just sort the fitment issue out after I'm done with this test. Okay, so <clears throat> you can see that although it looks very similar, but the Rock Brothers. The spring, well the spring is actually pretty okay on the Rock Brothers, but the sound, okay let's, let's do the sound test, let me just tighten this up a little bit. Okay, I definitely need the bigger 
good piece over here. Let me just tighten this down so it's nice and snug so the test can be fair. Okay, so this is going to be the ultimate test. You see that there's a little bit of a free play. You can see there's a tiny bit of free play on the Rock Brothers down here. Whereas this sits very nice and flush. Again, there's a tiny bit of free play over here. The spur cycle is very nice and flushed. On the underside of it, it's metal. This one right here, I'm not quite sure what it is. Um, you can see that the branding of spur cycle is etched onto this lower piece, whereas for the Rock Brothers, it's, uh, it's just raw metal. So this is gonna be the ultimate test between these two bells. So over here, I'm gonna put in a decibel meter. So this is my DB meter here. So let's start with uh, the Rock Brothers. I've got some backgrounds, uh, background construction happening. So it, it should be fair. So Rock Brothers peaks at about I thought I saw a 91. Okay, 94 was max. Now let's do the uh, let's do the spur cycle. So obviously between the two bells, you can see that although this is $69 and a Rock Brothers is about, I think you can get it for about 20, 20, 20 odd dollars. It's definitely well worth the investment if you want to get something louder. Um, the ring of the bell resonates a lot longer as well as compared to the Rock Brothers. It doesn't resonate as long. Wow. So you've got made in China, and you've got a made in the US. Damn. So with the spur cycle, I hit a max of 102. As you can see over here. So there you have it. Don't say I didn't warn you. I told you not to watch if you wanted to save a little bit of money, especially if you have already the Rock Brothers. But on hindsight, if I had known, if I had seen these two bells in action, I would have definitely, without a doubt, gotten the spur cycle. Overall, it sounds so much better. The build quality is so much better and it, the resonance is just so nice and amazing. I could buy another one or two more of these bells because I just like the way it sounds. Oh, that bright ringing sound is... So if you like the video, give me a thumbs up. Tell me what you think of the Spur Cycle or the Rock Brothers if you already own one. And I will see you very soon. Hey, you see this video? Yeah. Uh, Installation of the gimbal. Okay. I will tell you to me. So, yeah, uh, that basically concludes the...